Welcome back, trainers. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Ferrothorn in the Remix Cup battle. So if you do enjoy these, please give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out quite a bit. So I wanted to kind of make, uh, you know, a showcase of Shadow Needle Queen, to be honest. That's what I initially wanted to do. But it, it's definitely good. I was just not finding the best kind of matchups here. So we're going to make this the uh, power of Ferrothorn in the Remix Cup. We're going to be pairing it up with Sableye for the most part because it's going to be protecting it from fighting and Sableye is going to be great up against those fighters. And also Ferrothorn is going to be protecting the Sableye from potential charm users. And you also have the Shadow Ninetales here, which we're going to be using more frequently after the Needle Queen does take off here which is also going to be helping it from fairy types as well, the Sableye, and also protecting the uh, Ninetales from water, the Ferrothorn. Okay, so with that said, let's see what we have here. Nido Queen. I don't think we're going to be seeing it after this, so they're taking us out. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and go in here with Nido Queen, and we're simply going to shield this up here, take out the Registeel with our Earth Power. That would easily one-shot, but they're going to be swapping into Deoxys here. So we got, got ourselves in a bit of a jam. We got the super effective counter damage without any stab. And then the Rock Slide, which is going to do neutral. Psycho Boost, which is resisted and reducing their attack, which is highly not going to probably go for. And then you have Thunderbolt, which is going to be resisted. Beautiful. So I'm guessing they have Thunderbolt and Psycho Boost. So we're going to go ahead and go for that Power Whip here. This is perfect. So what I can... <laughs> they're going to take us out here. What we're going to do is go in here with Nido Queen, Farm up. And simply hit Earth Power as soon as this Reggie still comes back into the battle here. And this will KO. And we're looking great. So we're going to actually take... Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Okay, so the, thank goodness we're able to uh, take them out with the not very effective Poison Jabs before they got to a charge move there. So we're going to be actually seeing the Needle Queen one more time here. Horrible lead. So, of course, you know, you know, you know, the game's throwing us a Hypno with confusion. And we're going to be swapping into our Ferrothorn here, and they're going to be going into a Scrafty. So, we're basically getting hard countered at every angle, but we're going to have to make do with it. It's not over. Let's see what we can uh, do with this battle here. They're going for a power up punch, figured as much. Might as well vamp up that attack while doing super effective. No need to go for the foul play. We're getting a shield, the first one, and they're farming us up. Not too good here. So, we have the Needle Queen, which is going to be resisting the. Fighting damage, but the foul play is going to go right through us. Ouch, that hurt quite a bit. Powered up, and we're not able to farm down. That's absolutely horrific. So we're going to use a shield here. I know it sounds crazy. We have the Hypno that's going to obviously come in here. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Earth Power and get their probably last shield and pray that there's not a Charm user in the back. If there is, okay, well, we're looking good here. We can do this. So we are actually going to go for a return. The reason why is because it's just doing that much more damage. It really is. Shields are down. So, I mean, <laughs> they're not shielding it, right? So, we're getting that return through. Beautiful. Our, our Shadow Claw is not very effective. We're going to take them out before they're actually able to throw a Body Slam, which is not very effective, but we want to maintain this here. Seeing that we do have a shield, we're going to be able to shield this up. And I'm thinking they have two charge moves. So, there's one Thunder and, oh my gosh, two. Can we survive with one HP, folks? Can we please? We survive with two and... Confusion is so resisted by Dark, we're actually able to get to a foul play and take out the Hypno with the Sableye. Absolutely beautiful, even with a horrible lead. Alrighty, let's go on to our next opponent here. Now we're going to be using the Ninetales, another horrible lead. Actually, this is great because we're going to be able to see how well this team is really going to be able to hold up. And we're getting hard countered by a Charm user with our Sableye. Can things get any worse? I don't know, but I really enjoy this so we can see if we're going to be able to pull out of this rut here. So obviously we're going to come back in here with nine tails and farm down. They're going to be able to hit us with Psy Shock, which is neutral damage, but it's not really too threatening. The only dangerous part here is the fact that we're shadow and taking more damage, but also dishing out a bunch of it. Able to farm down with a bunch of energy. They are down a shield and they're coming back in here with Polito. We're going to go ahead and throw the Psy Shock here. Fantastic. Getting that last shield, getting to another Psy Shock, going to go ahead and throw this. And since we did get rid of their charm user, fantastic. Well, I mean... What am I talking about? It doesn't really matter. They have a Sableye in the back. Zero shields here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and throw this Power Whip, obviously. Now, what do I shield? What do I let go through? That is the question here. If we think about the Politoed, it does have a lot of energy. We resist the water. We're going to go ahead and shield up that Foul Play, seeing that it would have done a decent amount of damage for neutral and keep the health maintained here on the Ferrothorn. We're getting that through because they have no more shields. In comes Politoed. We're going to let this go through. It is an Earthquake, but we're going to be able to get to our Power Whip and simply shield up this Weather Ball here and then take the win with our Ferrothorn. Fantastic. This thing is really good. I love it. 
very weak to fire keep that in mind no we do not have a counter to fire per se but we can make do with what we have here all right so moving on to our next opponent now if you're thinking well what if you have an Altaria lead you know we have Thunder on the Ferrothorn, which is going to be good. Psyshock is going to also do decent damage to it, and Sableye can't hold its own. So they're going to be swapping into a Mandibuzz here. We're going to go ahead and swap into our Ferrothorn after we did take that damage because it's going to be comfortable. For, um, the uh, Mandibuzz doesn't really have great attack, so we don't need to worry about that. Getting to a Thunder here, let's see if we're going to be able to make this connect. That would be great. And we do, fantastic. As you can see, the thing is a tank here, just absorbing the thunder without stab, of course, from the Ferrothorn without the best attack around. Going for another one of those. So now we're going to go ahead and throw the Power Whip to see if we can get the shield out of them. But I'm thinking they're going to let it go through so they can just farm down. Yep, unfortunately, they're going to be able to get to that charge move here. I think we let this go. Yeah, definitely want to do that and come in and farm down with Ninetales and just build up a little bit more energy. Still two shields on both ends here. And they're coming in with a Metacham. That sounds good to me. This is basically a GG. Uh, Sableye's in the back. We don't have a fairy, we, fairy type we need to worry about with Charm. So yeah, Jirachi is going to go down here with massive resistance to Confusion. And super effective with our Shadow Claw and Foul Play. They realize that is a loss and we take the win and they back out there. Great. Let's keep it moving here, folks. See what we're going to be met with. We have an X-Legend. And they're going to be starting it off with a Wigglytuff Charm. They're going to be swapping into Deoxys and... We are looking fantastic. Let's see how this uh, X-Pro battler is going to be able to pull out of this situation here. If they have the correct counters to uh, combat this team that I have. They're going for Thunder. We're letting it go through. There's no need to shield the Sableye after going up against Deoxys unless they wanted to use a shield as well. And the only thing they're going to accomplish when doing that is basically making you burn a shield to kind of keep up with you know them throwing their charge move. So going back in here with Ninetales. Yeah, everything's looking great. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this Weather Ball. They're shielding it up and they're swapping into Toxicroak. Now, we could have potentially stayed here, but we're going to swap instantly. We're going to go for the Thunder and hope that they let it go through. So we're going to absolutely let that Mud Bomb go through. The counters are going to hurt our Ninetales, but we're you know holding quite a bit of energy. They let it go through. And as soon as they did that, I was thinking, well, I won. <laughs> That's a GG's right here. Uh, simply shield this up and farm them down. They almost have another Mud Bomb, but they're not going to be able to get it off. Oh, that's no good. In comes the Wigglytuff. We're going to farm up to two Weather Balls here. And I admire them for sticking out this battle here. They shield it up and uh, trying to maybe get off that charm to get it through. But we have another Weather Ball and we're taking the win. And they absolutely, I'm going to have to say they close their app out here. Hey, it's all good. We're still going to get our win. You do what you got to do. And thank you, Ninetales and team. Moving on to our next opponent. Don't have the longest video for you guys today, uh, but I will be bringing you another battle video later. And it is going to be exciting. Another team that I just love to use. So we have a Registeel lead. They're going to swap into Hypno to catch this weather ball which is perfectly fine what that's going to do is able me to farm down even easier and i would expect them to come back in here with the reggie steel if they don't have a charm user so let's see how this plays out they know that this is you know all bad and then they actually back out we take the win why did i show that i don't know let's go ahead and keep it moving here what are we going to see this time it is a haunter so this is actually not a problem at all what i'm going to do is let it go through i don't expect them to throw a sludge bomb or a shadow ball they're going to probably farm up to two Shadow Punches, throw one, which is not going to KO. We're going to let it go through, seeing that we did get a shield. Come in here with the Sableye and farm them down, and we're going to be looking pretty good. Sweet. Just like I said, so they threw that. Now we're going to... Okay, never mind. Change of plans. We want them to use two shields. Let's see. Do you want to double shield that Haunter? I don't think you do. Exactly. So down they go. We win that matchup. In comes the Metacham, and we're looking absolutely magnificent here. Going to go in with the Sableye. And, yep, they're swapping. Got a little lag there. Pretty annoying. Going to go ahead and go in with our Ferrothorn. This is where it all comes together, and it's all magical. All right, this is a very decent team here. And we're getting that power whip through. They did not want to use the shield at all, which mm, maybe they would. I don't know. But we're resisting that charm quite significantly, as well as able to get to that power whip at a pretty decent rate here. We're going to shield this up, building up to two power whips. And we're going to go ahead and go to town. It, it, it's it, This is our win no matter what, even if they shielded that up. And we would have hit another one. Uh, Sableye up against the Metacham is pretty much a GG. They use that shield for the Power Whip. We swap instantly into our Sableye. And we're going to go for the Foul Plays and take the win here. Like I said, if you do enjoy these videos, please give it a big thumbs up, folks. It really helps me out quite a bit. And it's free. So there you go. Ferrothorn, Sableye, and Shadow Ninetales.
make for a pretty decent team in the Remix Cup. Thank you for watching, trainers, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.